We feel there is need for intervention, and this is an intervention we have been doing over the years. And this year has been a remarkable one because we have increased the number of patients from the beneficiaries from 250 to 800, almost 800. And this is free surgeries for hernia, for fibroids, and for eye surgeries, and for other uh, eye treatments and, and, and glasses. That took uh, about uh, three to four thousand. I, I believe that this is something of joy that we are doing something to make people happy, to bring back health into their lives, to make them more productive and helpful to themselves. That we are doing this, but on this, I believe that we need to do uh, more in the area of institutional building. That is to build our hospitals, uh, to build the capacities of our personnel in the hospitals, so that this kind of treatments don't have to come from a member of the National Assembly or any uh, individual, that our institutions are able to handle this. But even more, uh, more important, or possibly better, is to be preventive. What can we do to prevent people from uh, getting these challenges? These are things that we continue to ask ourselves, continue to work on them, continue to ensure that we provide an environment, a climate that will be better and free of such challenges coming to, to affect our people. I also take this opportunity to thank all members of the National Assembly for being so patriotic, for being so productive. This National Assembly is a National Assembly with very positive difference. Members of the National Assembly have devoted themselves to working for the 2020 budget to be passed before the end of the year. We have done so much in the last two weeks, and by the grace of God, on the 29th of this month, uh, the defense of budgets would have been concluded. The executive side of the government has also done fundamentally uh, very well, as far as I can see. The president presented the budget in a very good time, as far as I'm concerned, and also took the extra steps to tell his uh, ministers that nobody should travel out of the country with the, without defending his or her budget. And I believe that that has worked for us. At this going forward, what will make Nigeria better? Because if we are able to pass the budget and start implementing in January, the economy of Nigeria would have received the kind of boost that it requires to put it up, where you have to pass the budget in June. So much would have been late and done. But I believe that if we start implementing our budget in June, I mean in, Ju uh, in January, the economy will receive the kind of uh, boost that it requires because public spending actually moves Nigeria's economy. And I want to see a situation where Nigeria will be on the path and trajectory of making the economy better and working for everyone, especially those at the lowest level of the ladder of our uh, society. So I want to thank God that everything so far is going on so well in the National Assembly and we are happy that we, we are doing what we preached, what we campaigned 
that we will do, that this National Assembly will be a National Assembly that will work for Nigerians. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Should you ask